it's a 600 volt rated, rated cable and when we're not dealing with continuous flex on 600 volt cable depending on your application this can be uh, a much more tedious task to work, work with especially dealing with the uh, twine that's required to be in there because the conductors are all tin um, so I've made some drastic revisions to uh, the new Rev3 version. First of all, there's text on the cable. It is my cable. It does say e -Dealers Direct Automation. It's also got the MBR rating on the cable, which again is eight times the diameter. You can see 8D here. This cable is rated to 300 volts. And by doing that, you can see the reduction in the diameter between the two cables. Now, if we reduce the diameter, you're gonna have a better MBR. Superior flexibility in terms of this cable versus this cable. Um, the other thing I wanted is because I know a lot of guys going into the, uh, just getting involved in the genre dealing with uh, CNC's like the Onefinity, uh, different Chinese models that come with very small cable chains. This exterior diameter is going to be much more usable pending of course the cable chain they select is of proper MBR status in order to support the cables they're using. Uh, this cable still can certainly be used, the Rev2, but it does have to have more attention paid to the exterior diameter of the uh, cable chain being used. 